What are you actually getting when you're buying the VTI, Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF? This is the topic of today's video. Hello and welcome. My name is Peter B and I welcome you here at My First Million, where we are achieving our financial goals together. So as a financial enthusiast, I'm a huge proponent in, for people investing into ETFs. But what are actually the people buying when they are investing into ETFs? So this question we want to explore by taking a look at the VTI, the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, as an example. So this is no commercial for Vanguard. Also, I'm not holding any VTI currently, but I just want to use this as an example to make a little bit more of a detail deep dive into the topic of ETFs. So whenever you're considering to invest into an ETF, regardless whether it's from an ETF from Vanguard or from iShares or any of the other ETF providers out there, what you want to do is certainly take a look at the fact sheets of the ETF to understand more what you will be exactly buying when you're purchasing a specific ETF. So for this, I have visited the Vanguard website and you can see here we are on the VTI information page and the VTI basically stands for Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. However, if you're taking a look at the details, the title can be a little bit misleading, especially if you are not from the United States because it only covers domestic stocks. So it only covers US stocks, but the total US stock market, but not international stocks. So this is the th first thing that you need to understand. When you buy the VTI, you're basically buying the total US stock market. But then what are you exactly buying? For this, let us scroll down a little bit more into the portfolio composition. Taking a look at the portfolio composition, it shows that VTI is covering close to 4,000 stocks in the US. Let me zoom in a bit to make it more visual. So exactly 3,907 stocks are covered currently in this ETF. So every time you're buying one stock of this ETF, what Vanguard is doing, Vanguard is taking your money and is buying very small slivers of 3,907 companies. So a small portion of your money is going to each of those 3,907 companies. Then what you also want to do, of course, before making your first investment, you want to try to understand all the details here. But my focus here today is especially to see what exactly you're buying. So what Vanguard is also doing, it is splitting out the sectors that you're investing in. So as you're investing here into the total US stock market, you can see here in the sectors how much of your money goes to which sector. So 2.2% 2 .2 of your money is going into basic materials, for example. Con consumer discretionaries, 14.2% is going into that sector and so on. So you can see all the details here. And of course, in the US, all the, the biggest market caps are technology related companies. So 27.3% of your money is going into the technology sector. And then further down, Vanguard is breaking down the details. Where exactly is your money invested in? And you can see here, not every company of the 3,900 companies covered in this ETF is getting the same amount of money. No, it depends on the market capitalization of the company. This means the bigger the company is, the more money of each ETF that you're buying is going to the bigger company. And the smaller the company is, the less money you invest into the smaller companies. 
So as a result, you can see here the top holdings of this ETF are all the biggest companies in the US. So 6% of your money is going into Apple if you buy this ETF. More than 5% is going into Microsoft. Then Amazon receives 2.2%. Um, NVIDIA is next. Or basically, actually, Google would be before that. But Google has two classes of shares. So they are separated out into the different class of shares. So you can see here on the list, all the biggest company get a bigger bigger portion of it. And here on the top 10, you can see that although you are investing into 3,900 companies, the top 10 already got more than 22% of your money. If you sum this percentage allocation up. And Vanguard also gives you more details for every additional company that they're investing in. So to sum this video up, ETFs are a great tool to diversify your investments, especially if you're starting out. It's probably the easiest approach to, to start off investing with ETFs. And the ETF provider like Vanguard will then do the whole portfolio allocation for you. However, still, even though Vanguard is doing the work for us, we still want to understand what exactly are we buying when we are investing into an ETF. And you can see here in this example, so that if you're buying this specific ETF, a big portion of your money is already going into Apple and Microsoft. More than 10% is only going into two companies. Whether or not this affects your investment decision, I leave it up to you. But at least it is good to know that a significant portion of your investments is going into these companies. And also, as mentioned before, before you are doing the first investment into an ETF, you really want to study through this information that you can see on the product sheet. Also, for instance, you want to know how much is the expenses on this ETF which by the way here is at 0.03%. So di diminishingly, nearly diminishingly low. So what are your investment approaches? Are you investing into ETFs or do you have other preferences where you invest your money in? Please share with us in the comments below. Also, if you are investing into ETFs, what are your experiences and what are your main criteria that you are considering in order when selecting an ETF. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and especially I look forward to seeing you winning financially.